Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Now, this isn't exactly the way we choose to gather for church, is it? But at least it gives us some opportunity to uh, encourage one another in worshipping the Lord and in having some connection with each other. Uh, I'm Chris Doig from Westdale Lane Baptist Church. Uh, welcome if you normally worship at Westdale Lane. Uh, welcome if you normally worship at another church. I know the last couple of weeks some friends from Daybrook have been joining us. Uh, and welcome if you don't normally attend church but just thought you'd like to join in. It's really good to see you. Just to explain, we're going to do this morning a little bit differently. Uh, very grateful to Matt, Matt Jones, uh, with Sarah's help, who's done the last couple of weeks stream services. I'm much more technologically challenged than they are, and also I'm not as musical. Uh, so the last thing I would want to do is to inflict my singing upon you. Uh, so the bits I'm doing, I've recorded at home in the last couple of days, and then Matt and Sarah are going to give us some music to help us in our worship. I'm sitting in my study at the back of our bungalow here in Woodthorpe, uh, being able to look out over our small garden, and it's lovely to be able to see the trees behind just beginning to come out in spring. I wonder how we're feeling as we gather like this today. Maybe we're feeling very fearful and anxious. That's understandable. Different ones of us will react in different ways at a time like this. We're going to talk about the whole area of fear a bit later on. Maybe you're feeling isolated. There's a sense of not having the connections with other people that we normally enjoy and appreciate. Maybe you're feeling bored. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe yours is one of the jobs which has suddenly become much more demanding and you're under a great deal of strain and pressure. Or maybe it's simply a sense of feeling more restricted and cooped up at the moment. The Lord knows and he cares as we gather like this this morning. So let's pause and bring our thoughts to him in prayer. A moment of quiet prayer and then I'll pray. Lord, thank you that you know us and you understand us completely. Lord, we bring ourselves as we are to you this morning, uh, with all our confused and difficult thoughts and feelings, fear, isolation, boredom, pressure, sense of restriction, whatever it is. Lord, in this time, draw close to us as we worship, as we remember who you are, as we hear your word, as we pray for each other, may we know the reality of your presence, we pray. Amen. For a moment, let's move away from the current situation and let, re let me remind you that it's Palm Sunday. And let me read you part of the Palm Sunday story. I've got the Good News Bible that we normally use at church and read to you part from Luke chapter 19. The disciples threw their cloaks over the animal and helped Jesus get on. And as he rode along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near Jerusalem at the place where the road went down the Mount of Olives, the large crowd of his disciples began to thank God and praise him in loud voices for all the great things they'd seen. God bless the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory to God. Some of the disciples in the crowd spoke to Jesus. Teacher, command your disciples to be quiet, they said. Jesus answered, I tell you, if they keep quiet, the stones themselves will start shouting. The crowd were thrilled that Jesus, the King, the Messiah, had arrived and they gave enthusiastic praise and affirmation. But it's pretty certain that many of them had a wrong idea of what the king had come to do. They thought he'd come to overthrow the Roman occupiers and probably make life easier. Whereas in fact he'd come to do something bigger, deeper and much more long-lasting. Today it's important to remind ourselves that the Lord is on the throne He's the king. He's ultimately in control. 
the final victory of Christ is absolutely certain. But that's not to say it's going to be easy, it's not. He wants to work in us as his people to draw us closer to himself. And he wants many who don't know him as yet at this difficult time to reach out that they might know his presence, his love and his salvation. We'll pray about that later. So now let's focus on the King and let's turn to worship and praising him. <laughs> 